Welcome back, Eastern Chulin, to Hilal Live. Now, the Muslima Today conference will take place on Sunday, which will be hosted by Ilum South Africa. Of course, we will be broadcasting it live here on Hilal TV. And joining us now is the Ilum SA founder, Fatima Asmal. Fatima, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah so much for joining us. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's an absolute pleasure and jazakum khairan to you for hosting me. I really appreciate it. No, the pleasure is ours. Okay, Fatima, talk to us about this. I mean, it's a lovely concept, isn't it? Just to get people and, and to talk really about a way forward for us as a ummah. Well, it's actually very specific to women, mm. although I have to say that last year, uh, Hilal broadcasted the entire conference live, mm. and I was inundated with feedback from our brothers. Mm. So I was very, very heartened uh, to actually see that, that our brothers were benefiting from messages which were delivered by our sisters, alhamdulillah. Um, so Muslims today, it's actually our 10th anniversary. Mm. Uh, we started 10 years ago because we felt that um, the Muslim community in KZN, I, I can't speak for other provinces, I was born and brought up in KZN. So in KZN, there are a lot of safe spaces that brothers can go to, largely in the form of our masajid. Most of them are close to women in KZN. And so brothers have these safe spaces where they can interact with imams and interact with one another. And we thought, what about the sisters? So for a few years before that, we'd been bringing people like Sheikh Yasser Qadi, Sheikh Yahya Ibrahim, et cetera, et cetera, down. And we'd be holding these uh, mixed gender conferences. And we decided, no, we want to do something different now. And we want to do something particularly for our sisters. So it was a big dream. It started very small. We started with just 60 women mm -hmm. attending. Um, but alhamdulillah, we've come a really long way. We're expecting over 300 sisters on um, on Sunday. Um, and in terms of the concept, it's basically, like I said, um, affording Muslim women a, a safe space in which they can benefit from other women. We also have male speakers occasionally. Mm -hmm. We have two male speakers this year. But it's mainly other Muslim women who speak about their contributions, their challenges, and who also share um, Islamic knowledge. But over and above that, there's a real, real spirit of sisterhood which prevails at Muslima today. It transcends race, it transcends culture, mm. it transcends age, it transcends marital status. And one of the mechanisms that we've used to be able to achieve that is a large percentage of the attendees are actually sponsored. Mm. So there is a nominal entrance fee to enable us to cover the cost, mm. but we basically don't turn anybody away. So we provide like sponsorships for sisters who can't afford to attend. So you have like a really, really diverse sector of the com community attending uh, what has very much become known as a non-elitist event. Mm. Uh, uh, Fatima, uh, talk to us about who are some of the keynote speakers that will be there on Sunday. So we have um, three speakers. Since it's, our, since it's our 10th anniversary, we decided to invite three of the speakers who were favorites in the past. Mm. So they, were, they spoke multiple times at previous editions of the conference, and then we've also invited a few more new speakers. So in terms of the previous speakers, uh, one of them is no stranger to Hilal TV. Mm. Uh, she's Dr. Quraysha Ismail oh, Suleiman. Yes. Mm. A very spicy, very fiery, mm. tells it like it is, no holds barred kind of speaker. Alhamdulillah. Uh, she'll actually be speaking twice at Muslima today this year. And then we have Ustada Radia Bawa Hendricks, who is a really, really phenomenal uh, sister uh, from the Cape. Uh, she'll be coming, inshallah, also has been with us from the inception of Muslima Today. And then we also have somebody who's very popular within the KZN context. Uh, he's the Imam of the Westfield Sufi Mosque, Hafiz Fuzail Sufi. Yes. So those are the three that have spoken before. They are coming again, inshallah. And then um, the new speakers, we have Dr. Nazia Iram Osman. She's a clinical psychologist. We have Sister Fazila Chiwele, who's an activist. Uh, we have Milana Khalil Hendricks from Cape Town, who's Ustada Radia's husband. And we also have um, a sister, Sumeya Badat, uh, who's going to be speaking about how she supported his, her husband uh, through his recovery from uh, addiction. Uh, Fatima, the, the progress over 10 years. I, I want to talk about that because it's very difficult to maintain organizations over a 10-year period. What would you say are some of the highlights and, and what keeps you, of course, as a founder and, of course, somebody who's actively involved, motivated to really make sure that you keep uh, Ilum SA and, of course, Muslima today uh, uh, running for this period of time? SubhanAllah, that's such a loaded um, and interesting question. In terms of Ilm SA in general, 
So we basically run a bursary program. It's one of our main activities. We have around 60 students on our program at the moment. And then we have a social welfare division as well. So we assist people with things like rental, um, debt, um, water, electricity, et cetera, et cetera. And then we also have six underprivileged madrasas in different rural and um, rural areas of KZN as well as townships that we support. So in terms of those particular projects, I think it's the feedback that you receive, not necessarily just in the form of thank yous, but also the impact that you see. Um, so one of our bursary students, for example, is now like the managing director of a shipping company. Mm, he came here as a refugee. Mm. You know, he came here as a refugee. The mm. family has nothing. And he's like a, a managing director. He's supporting his family now. He comes to our bursary events and he motivates the other students. Uh, there are so many of them. I think there's around 20 of them that are qualified, mm. working, um, giving back. So that keeps you motivated in mm. terms of... You know, the general, um, the ill essay generally. In terms of Muslimah today, I think what keeps us motivated is to see the growing interest in the event. Like I mentioned, when we started, it was just 60 women. And um, yeah, sure, we were a little bit disappointed, but we knew the, low, the, the road ahead was long. Um, there, was, there was a lot of hard work that we were going to have to do. And um, we just kept at it. And then last year, for the first time, we had 200 women and we had a waiting list. And this year, we're sitting on just over 300, alhamdulillah. So every year, there's a new sister or new sisters who attend. And then they tell you what a phenomenal impact the conference has made on their lives. And they, you know, that motivates you to basically um, continue. And then also as individuals, yes, you organize the events, but you're also sitting within the event and you also benefiting from the sisterhood and from the messages that are being delivered. And you want more of that. And that motivates you to organize more of that. Fatima, that, that story of the refugee who, of course, became a managing director of a shopping company. I mean, in a world today where there's so much of negative and so much of tragedy, it's good to see that there are beautiful stories like that, isn't it? Oh, alhamdulillah. I, I can tell you so many stories, mm. Brother Faraz. We can sit here for like hours um, and talk about the the kinds of things we see, you know, when people are motivated and they have a sincere need to turn their lives around um, and to better their lives. And then Allah, who is the ultimate provider and the ultimate opener of paths, he creates that way for them. And we are just an instrument, you know, uh, we're just there. It's not my money. It's not Fatima Asma's money. Um, it's money that donors give to us, which Allah motivates them to do. Um, but but yes, especially with what's going on in Gaza at the moment. Mm. You know, a lot of people are messaging us and they're saying, oh, uh, not a lot, Afwan, it's not a lot, that's a lie. I know there's a couple of people that have been messaging us and they've been saying, you know, I hope there's something about Gaza in the program. Well, there isn't something specific about Gaza mm. because obviously the program was formulated a, a while ago, mm. but obviously it's a subject that's close to all of our hearts and it's affecting all of us. And we do need um, stories of hope um, to keep us going. And we also need to remember that here in South Africa, it may not be a situation um, like what is happening in Gaza, but there is a lot of poverty and there are a lot of challenges uh, that our various communities face. And we have to be proactive in terms of making a difference there. Fatima, one final question. Okay, so whoever's not going to be in Durban, I will probably be watching it on Hilal TV on Sunday. But if uh, uh, some of the brothers and sisters want to go ahead and attend this conference uh, uh, in Durban, what would they need to do uh, in order to make sure that they can attend and really be part of this uh, uh, beautiful event? Okay, so firstly, it's called Muslimah today for a reason. Mm -hmm. Brothers are not allowed to attend. Okay, so brothers are not allowed. Okay, no, no, Jazakallah for correcting me that, yes. But alhamdulillah, they mm. can watch it on Hilal. Mm. I can't I can't thank Hilal enough. Mm. That impact of the broadcast. <laughs> There's two sisters driving from Swaziland mm. this year yeah. because they watched it on Hilal last mm. year. So in our advert, you know, we put together an advert for the Hilal TV live broadcast and we say there, Muslima today is best experience in person. Mm. Um, so sisters are welcome to attend. However, we just have around 50 tickets left. And these tickets do not come with meals because our catering uh, uh, numbers have already been submitted. So these tickets are 150 rands, excluding a, a small um, a booking fee. Uh, you can book tickets on, on the website called Quicket. Mm. That's Q-U-I-C-K-E-T, Quicket. 
Uh, you just search Muslima today. It's the only event that will come up with that name. And you'll be able to click on buy tickets and you'll be able to see a whole list of topics and speakers, the venue, etc., etc. And inshallah, you should be able to secure tickets in that way. Fatima, jazakallah so much for making the time for us. All the best. Uh, inshallah, may it be a successful one uh, come Sunday. I mean, jazakallah khairan, and I hope you'll be watching. Inshallah, I mean, definitely I will do so. Fatima, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That's Fatima Asmal from Ilam SA. Of course, they are hosting the Muslima Today Conference Sunday. It will be live right here on Hilal TV Channel 347. After the break, I'll have your latest in news. To stay tuned.